Danu, the mother goddess. Welcome to the first video in a series that will explore the Celtic gods and goddesses of Ireland. This series of videos should be considered a primer about the gods and goddesses, a guiding first step in learning more about the old gods. I hope they will inspire you to learn and study more. Ireland has a rich history of the old gods, which can be broken down into pre- and post-day Danon. Even the old gods have older old gods that they must contend with. With all its amazing stories of gods, and invasions, the battles, and the heroes, Ireland, unlike the Greeks, the Egyptians, the Hebrews and all the other cultures of the world, lacks an actual creation story of its own. In his book Celtic Myths and Legends, author Peter Bursford Ellis provides us with one. End the beginning. It was a time of primal chaos, a time when the earth was new and undefined. Arid deserts and black bubbling volcanoes, covered by swirling clouds of gases, scarred the grim visage of the newborn world. It was, as yet, the time of the great void. Then, into the oblivion, from the dull, dark heavens there came a trickle of water. First one drop, then another, and another, until finally there gushed a mighty torrent down upon the earth. The divine waters from heaven flowed downwards and life began to spring forth across the earth. From the soil there grew a tree, tall and strong, the divine waters from heaven nurtured and cherished this great tree which became the sacred oak named Bile. With the pairing of Danu and Bile, there dropped two giant acorns, one male and one female. From these sprang forth the Dagda, the good god, and Bridget, the exalted one. The Dagda and Bridget gazed upon one another in wonder for it was their task to wrest order from the primal chaos and to people the earth with the children of Danu, the mother goddess whose divine waters had given them. And us. Life. I would like to take a moment here and say, in the recorded Irish myths, Bridget is the Dagda's daughter, not a proto-Eve as Peter Ellis presents her in his creation mythos. According to the early scholars, the name Danu is derived from an Indo-European word, which can be translated as the flowing one. Others believe that the word stems from the ancient Scythian language, meaning the river. Danu is not found in any medieval Irish text as an individual goddess, apart from the name of the Tuatha Dé Danann. She has no myths or legends of her own in any surviving medieval Irish texts, but she has parallels with the Welsh literary figure of Dawn, who most modern scholars regarded as a mythological mother goddess in the medieval tales of the Mabinogen. The name Danu is a reconstruction by modern scholars, based on the genitive Dinan, which is the only reference to her in the medieval writings. In the collective name of the Irish gods, the Tuatha Dé Danann or the tribe or the people of the gods of Danu. There is another possible source for her name and that is from the goddess Anu. In Irish mythology, Anu, sometimes written as Anan or Anand is a mother goddess. She may be a distinct goddess in her own right, or an alternative name for Danu, in which case Danu could be a contraction of Daya Anu or the goddess Anu. Mary Louise Thuestet in her book Celtic Gods and Heroes states that there are far more names of gods than there are gods themselves. So each region of the ancient Celtic world could or would have a regional name for the same god or goddess. Danu, also known as Anu, was the earth goddess from whom all life emerged. She embodied the earth, rivers and sea. She offered fertility, abundance, regeneration and nurturing. She is considered the mother goddess of all Celtic gods and mother of the Tui Dé Danann, or those we know as the fairy folk today. As the supreme matriarch, Danu breastfed all the gods, giving them wisdom and knowledge. She was also associated with the earth and wind, being responsible for the agricultural blessings of the Irish lands. In the Celtic world, she was also considered the goddess of the rivers and other big bodies of water. One of the major rivers in Europe, the Danube River, is named after her. There is a Hindu goddess named Anu who may or may not be the same deity as the Irish Danu but she has many of the same characteristics. Danu is a Hindu primordial goddess. She is mentioned in the Rig Veda to be the mother of the eponymous race of Danavas. The word Danu described the primeval waters that this deity embodied. 
Chiwi Danu is also the primordial water goddess in Balinese Hinduism. Pictured here she stands atop a ceremonial shrine, the highest on the island, while her temple wears the highest number of tears. In County Kerry there are two hills side by side named the Paps of Anu. They are also known as the Breasts of Danu, which suggests the deep connection between these two goddesses. The Paps of Anu or in Irish, Da Chia Anan. The Breasts of Anu are a pair of breast-shaped mountains near Killarney in County Kerry, Ireland. The mountains are named after the mother goddess Anu. Cormac's glossary describes Anu or Danu as the mother of the gods of Ireland. On each summit is a prehistoric cairn, which may be miniature passage graves or house burial cysts. The cairn on the tops of the hills have been described as stone nipples on the great breasts of the mother goddess. A line of stones, known as Na Fiacla, connects the two tops and is believed to have been a processional route. Archaeologist Frank Goyne suggested that the mountains were seen as sacred and said, there is little doubt that the mountain tops of both the Paps were utilized for ritual in prehistory. To the ancients, the mountains reinforced the idea that the earth was a motherly body. There is a stream running between the mountains. One half flows north into a small lake called Loch Najiha and the other half flows south into the Clyde River. It would be easy to conclude that any ancient rituals that would have taken place here would have been ones concerned with fertility and abundance. What better setting could be found than this sacred place with its mountains shaped like breasts and a stream flowing between them to a lake, all of which are symbols of fertility and that Anu. Danu herself is the land and the mother of creation. Danu the Great Mother is the most ancient of all the Celtic deities. She represents abundance, wisdom, knowledge, water, and most importantly fertility. Offerings to Danu If you have need of assistance in your life from the goddess in the areas of motherhood, fertility, wisdom, or teaching, make a suitable offering, asking for her help or answers to your prayers. Offerings suitable to Goddess Danu include water, river stones, fish, white candles and devotional acts related to water and rivers. Since Goddess Danu is strongly associated with water, it makes sense to use it as an offering during rituals. After cleansing, pour some water into a bowl at the beginning of your devotion. If you're practicing outside, pour it onto the ground after you have made your prayers. As part of this series, we will create a family tree of the Irish gods and goddesses, and at the head of our tree sits Danu. With each continuing episode, we will discuss another god or goddess and place them on their own spot on that mystical tree. Next time, we will discuss the Dagda, the good god. Thank you for watching. And if you liked the video, please like and share it.